What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I've got some more crazy entitled parent stories for you. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight into them. That merch is illegal. Take it off. Um, no, it's not. So this is a story about my entitled aunt. I got the Redditor face mask, a Reddit gang hat, and sweatshirt. I was wearing all of them in this story while I was with my fiance, who also had a Redditor face mask. Now on to the story. I was at a grocery store near my house with my fiance getting a few groceries. We have two, a white one who is obsessed with fireworks and horror movies, and a gray one who is grumpy all the time. As we were grabbing toys, I hear a loud, high-pitched, obnoxious, um, <coughs> Alan. Alan, not my real name. Is that you? This voice sounded familiar and I instantly thought, oh snap, here we go again. I turned around and saw the familiar obese shape. Now this is my entitled aunt who shall now be referred to as Karen. Uh, how are you? I see you've had children. She said that gesturing to my fiance. Um, no, that's my fiance. Wait, you're engaged to a child? No, she's 18. Now my fiance spoke up. Yeah, he's right. I'm 18. Shut up, kid. She then noticed that I was wearing Redditor merch. That merch is illegal. Take it off. What? You heard me. That merch is illegal. Me and my fiance both say, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. Anyways, how would you know what is illegal? She said this with a big smug smile. Um, I am. I was cut off. No, you need to take off the merch. Now, I wasn't wearing anything under the sweatshirt. Also, you probably have something else underneath. I didn't. My fiance saw me getting visibly annoyed and she stepped in. Look, he doesn't have clothes underneath his sweatshirt for reasons. She slowed down reasons. Karen looked at her with a disgusted look and asked, what are you planning to do to her? Now, this is probably the worst thing for her to ask, though I'm not very vocal about my sexual activities. I most certainly will tell you if you ask. And that is what I did here. I explained in extreme detail about all the sexual acts I will do to her. And she just looked at me and just walked away and didn't bother us for the rest of shopping. Wow. I have lots of other stories about her. Just tell me if you want more. Well, uh, that was a pretty interesting story. That's for sure. Um, I've got to say firstly, thanks to Delta Fox for posting this story on my own subreddit, r slash redditor yt. If you guys have any stories that you want featured in my videos, post them over there. Link is below and you know, you've got a chance. Secondly, thanks for being amazing and you know, buying all of my merch. It sounds like you got a piece of pretty much everything. That's insane. If you guys don't know, buying my merch is the best way to support me. And with that being said, if you do like the look of anything on screen right now, um, I am wearing it all. So yeah, go ahead. Link down below to the shop. Also, behind the i button and in the pinned comment it's great stuff guys i mean look and it's all still on sale so you know go ahead check it out now moving on to our second story entitled dog parents yells at me because i told her that her pit bull needs to be muzzled so i an 18 year old female work as an office assistant slash secretary at a veterinarian office since i mostly just check people and schedule appointments and stuff for their pets i'm not certified in animal care or anything a few months ago, we had this one lady, let's call her S, come in with her medium-sized pit bull mix. I chuck her in and on her dog's file, it says that he has a past history of being aggressive towards the vet slash vet techs. This means that he is required to have a muzzle on before going into the room with the vet. This is the conversation that follows. Hey, it looks like your dog has a past history of being aggressive toward the vet, so he's going to have to have a muzzle on before he goes into the room. Do you have one with you? Uh, no, I don't have a muzzle with me. He won't need one. I'm sorry, mom, but he's going to have to have a muzzle on before the vet can look at him. It's the rules. We have some that we can use for the appointments if you like. Why? Is it because he's a pit bull? He is just a big baby. He wouldn't even hurt a fly. This is discrimination against pit bulls. No, mom, it's not because he's a pit bull. His file says he's been aggressive toward the vet before. A lot of dogs don't like the vet, so it's pretty common for them to have to be muzzled, regardless of the breed. We've had to muzzle chihuahuas before. My dog just doesn't like the vet to be touching him or messing with his body parts. Just tell the vet not to do that and he won't bite like last time. Mom, how is the vet supposed to do his job if he can't touch your dog? He needs to make sure everything is working right. I don't care. My dog is not going to be muzzled and that's final. You are discriminating against my little baby dog because he is a pit bull. I can't believe that I'm facing this kind of harassment for owning a pit bull at a vet's office for God's sake. 
We went back and forth like this for a while. I kept telling her that her dog isn't going to see the vet until he has a muzzle on and she kept telling me he didn't mean it and that I was saying that he is aggressive because he's a pit bull. Eventually, she put a muzzle on the dog and he apparently acted fine and non-aggressive with the muzzle on. But since he was aggressive once without the muzzle, he will still have to be muzzled for future appointments. She ended up filing a complaint against me because I was discriminating against her and her dog, but it never really went anywhere. She has another appointment next week so that's going to be fun oh man op i'm sorry that yeah that is not going to be a fun one that is for sure i mean come on why is it such a big deal to put a muzzle on your pet it's literally according to op bit the vet before if he's done that once chances are it may well do it again even if it's a bit more trained or old or whatever just be safe it's not that much of a hardship to muzzle your dog for half an hour at the vet really come on like op even said they've had to muzzle chihuahuas before but for some reason this lady kept saying this is discrimination against my dog no we've had to muzzle chihuahuas before i don't care it's discrimination like what is this now moving on to our final story christia holier than thou em tries to manipulate me i gave her a taste of her own medicine this story happened earlier this week to preface this ever since the covid lockdown my church has been meeting online via live stream this is extended to small groups which are now done through zoom meetings this particular week was much like the others in terms of small groups bible talk cracking jokes and discussing pop culture however joining us this week was my friend's aunt from out of town the entitled mum of the story who from what i heard had a tendency to have a holier than thou demeanor at one point of the chat we got to the topic of hobbies i took the moment to discuss my hobby of gaming my big mistake of the story i talked about my gaming collection of different gaming consoles snares n64 gc ps1 2 3 wii switch gbc and the various games i've collected over the years which my friends found to be fascinating so about 40 minutes after the small group chat i get a phone call from my friend's phone number i picked it up only to be greeted by his aunt hello op Oh, what a surprise. Well, I'm calling you from your friend's phone because I wanted to talk to you about something. Okay, what do you want to talk to me about? Well, during small group, you mentioned that you had a collection of video games and video game systems? Yeah, what about them? Well, you see, it's just that strong Christian men like you shouldn't be wasting time playing video games. You should be dedicating your time towards getting married, starting a family, and teaching them the ways of God and the Bible. I'm dumbfounded at this point. Wait, what? Remember, the Bible tells men to put away childish things and video games are definitely under that category. So what are you suggesting I do with my collection then? You should donate it to a child in need. Better yet, my son loves video games and his birthday is coming up, so you should give it to him. I'm sure he'd be grateful. At this point, I'm starting to get real angry. I'm not sure I would feel comfortable doing that. I'll tell you what, I'm in town till Wednesday. I'll call you back tomorrow. That gives you plenty of time to pray about it. Hopefully, God convinces you to man up and put away childish things. Good night now, and then she hangs up. I sat there for a good 50 minutes with anger stewing in my mind over the audacity of this entitled mum. I wanted to call her back and curse her out until a light bulb went off in my head. At that moment, an evil Grinch grin had crept across my face. My mind had just formulated a perfect response to the entitled mum's request. The next day, I spent the day waiting for my friend's aunt to call me. In the evening, the moment came. I saw my friend's number ringing my phone and the evil Grinch grin came back to my face. Why, hello, EM. How are you today? I'm doing well. Have you thought about our conversation from yesterday? Why, yes, I have. And what did you decide? I say in my best jolly holier than thou Joel Austin voice. Well, I prayed long and hard about what you said and I spent some time reading the Bible. And... Well, growing boys are very pivotal to the future of the kingdom of God and building a relationship with Jesus is very important to their upbringing. In all honesty, video games are just going to be a distraction to your son and time spent playing them is better dedicated to learning about the Bible. But that's... Remember, EM, the book of Proverbs tell us to start children off on the way they should go and Ephesians tell us to bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. So unfortunately, I will have to pass on gifting your son my gaming collection however i will gladly send a children's study bible and a dvd collection of veggie tales to my friend and he can send them to you but op wait it's not gonna be an issue i cut her off but still in my jolly holier than thou voice i'm sorry em but i have an important dinner arrangement to go to goodbye now then i hang up 
I turned off my phone after that to make sure that the entitled mum couldn't call me back. Later on that night, my friend sent me a message on Facebook apologizing for his aunt's behavior. Apparently, she took his phone behind his back to make both calls and got really upset when he found out about what the entitled mum was asking of me. But at the end of the day, I still have my collection and my hobby. Mario Kart, anyone? Oh, what a nice ending. Yeah, I really like this story. Um, if this if this mum was being serious about, you know, going by the teacher of the Bible, all that sort of stuff, then she wouldn't be wanting, you know, video games, video consoles for her son, really. I think, OP, you are right here. Instead, you know what you're saying? Teaching her son about the values and, and everything like that of God early on is a great, great decision. And more importantly, it means you get to keep your video games. That, guys, is the definition of a perfectly played Uno Reverse card right there. I mean, look, everything was perfect, wasn't it? Little bit of technique, little bit of finesse, a tiny bit of swaz. The entitled mum had no idea what was coming to her. Perfect, perfect post. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this Entitled Parents video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, drop a like on the video, comment your thoughts down below, and remember, importantly, to subscribe if you haven't done already. Also, don't forget, all the stuff that you can see on screen right now, even the, even the cheeky face mask, it, it's, all, it's all up for sale on my store, which is down below in the description and in the pinned comment. Go ahead, check it out if you want to wear, you know, some pretty fresh reddit gang merch